can go back to the beginning i can control what tomorrow will bring but i know you're in the middle and is a place where you promised to be And I'm not in night. You can't get me here. Cause all I want is all you are. Will you meet me here again? Thank you, Jesus. We need to see her again tonight, Father God, we pray. Hallelujah. We magnify your name, Lord Jesus, because you are a good God. And as I walk now through the valley, and let your love rise above every fear. Like the sun shaping the shadow In my weakness your glory appears Yes Lord I'm not enough unless you come Will you meet me here again? Cause all I want is all you are. Will you meet me here again? And I'm not enough unless you come. Will you meet me here again? Oh, cause all I is all you are. Will you meet me here again? Oh, Father God, tonight we pray, Lord, that your presence, oh Father God, will begin to capsulate the minds and the hearts of the people that will begin to join us tonight, Lord Jesus. That you will not hold back any blessing any form of healing, miracles, signs, and wonders, Lord, will begin to locate your children tonight, Father God. We pray tonight, Lord. Hallelujah. Not for a minute was I forsaken. The Lord is in this place. The Lord is in this place. And come, Holy Spirit. Drive bones awaken. The Lord is in this place. The Lord is in this place. Not for a minute was I forsaken. The Lord is in this place tonight, Lord. The Lord is in this place. And come, Holy Spirit. And dry bones awaken. The Lord is in this place. The Lord is in this place. Yeah. Oh, Father God, we pray tonight, Lord, that all those who begin to join us in our online conference, as we begin this conference, Lord, that you, oh God, will pour out your spirit, Lord. We pray for something supernatural to begin to locate your children tonight, Father God. Let your presence move tonight, we pray, in and through social media tonight, Lord. 
Hallelujah. 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 Father God, we worship you tonight, Lord Jesus. And I'm not enough unless you come. Will you meet me here again, Lord? Because all I want is all you are. Will you meet me here again, Lord? And I'm not enough unless you come. Will you meet us here tonight, Lord? Hallelujah. Because all I want is all you are. Will you meet me here again? Yeah. Oh, Father, Spirit of God, we bless your name tonight, Lord. We thank you, Father God, that tonight will be not any other night, Lord Jesus. But we pray that the spirit of prayer that will begin to locate your children tonight, Lord, that you will unblock and unzip those lips, God, for people that has been shut up for too long. We pray, God, that you will begin to pour out your spirit. We declare that angels will begin to locate your children tonight, Lord, that we will begin to pray. We will declare the word of the Lord. Oh, God, miracles, signs and wonders, healing and deliverance of Father God will begin to locate your children of Father God tonight, Lord. We magnify your spirit of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. A weapon may be formed, but it won't prosper. When darkness falls, it won't prevail. Cause the God I serve knows only how to try him. My God will never fail. Never fail. See a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. And I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. Oh. I wanna welcome you tonight just to join me in some worship. Hallelujah. Come on, won't you just sing with me tonight? Power in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, sing. And every war he wages in will win. I'm not backing down from any giant. I know how the story ends. I know how the story ends. And this is how it ends. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. And I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. For the battle belongs to the Lord. Come on, say, I'm gonna see a victory. And you are going to see a victory, for the battle belongs to the Lord. I'm going to see a victory, I'm going to see a victory, for the battle belongs to the Lord. Come on, won't you just sing with me tonight? Let the spirit of worship just uh, surround your home tonight. Uh, wherever you're sitting, uh, I know that you're watching me live. Uh, thank you for joining us. Hallelujah. And you turn it for good. You turn it for good. Yeah. You take what the enemy meant for evil. 
and you turn it for good. Oh, you turn it for good. Come on, sing with me. Say, you take what the enemy meant for evil, and you turn it for good. You turn it for good. Oh, you take what the enemy meant for evil. And you turn it for good, you turn it for good. Oh, you take what the enemy meant for you, and you turn it for good. Come on, sing with me, say, you turn it for good. Oh, you take what the enemy meant for you, and you turn it for good. You turn it for good. I'm going to see a victory, I'm going to see a victory, for the battle belongs to the Lord. And I'm going to see a victory, I'm going to see a victory, for the battle belongs to the Lord. I'm going to see a victory. And I'm gonna see a victory for the battle belongs to the Lord. And I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory for the battle belongs to the Lord. You take what the enemy meant for me. And you turn it for good. Whoa, you turn it for good. Yeah, yeah. You take what the enemy meant for evil. And you turn it for good. Come on, say, you turn it for good. Oh, you take what the enemy meant for evil, God. And you turn it for good tonight, we pray, Lord. Because you are turning it around for good. Oh God, every sickness, every disease, every negative situation. Oh Father God, every financial difficulty. Come on, somebody begin to praise the Lord tonight. Uh, begin to glorify Him. Begin to worship Him right where you are. Begin to worship Him right where you are. Begin to worship Him right where you are. Right where you are right, you are right now. I want you to lift up your voice. Uh, give the Lord some praise. Uh, give Him some glory. Come on, magnify Him. Magnify him tonight. I want you to glorify this Lord. Glorify the name of Jesus. There is only one healer. There is only one name that is able to deliver you and set you free and lift you up. I want you to understand that there is power and freedom and liberty when you call upon the name of Jesus. You gotta give him some praise. You gotta give him some glory. You gotta magnify this God. You gotta lift up a voice and give him some praise. You give him some praise tonight. I want to encourage you that you need to understand that whatever the enemy meant for harm, God is turning it around for good. I say God is turning it around for good tonight. God is turning it around for good. Come on, say. You take what the enemy meant for evil and you turn it for good. Yeah. You take what the enemy meant for evil and you turn it for good. You turn it for good. Come on, say you take. You take what the enemy meant for evil, and you turn it for good. Hey, you turn it for good. Oh, oh, oh. Hallelujah, God, we magnify you. We declare that there is being victory tonight, Lord. That there is victory settling right where your people are tonight. For all those that are watching, for all those that are watching tonight, God, we pray, God, that there will be a sound of victory. That there will be a sound of victory. Let me tell you something, that there is a victory that is locating you right now where you are. There is only one sound that is able to lift you up, like a sound, a sound like a mighty rushing wind. Remember that when the Jericho was near the fort, there had to be a sound. Come on now. 
begin when the disciples began to pray there was a sound a sound like a mighty rushing wind there's always a sound i want you right where you are right now to lift up a sound to lift up a voice because god is taking what the enemy whatever the enemy meant for evil whatever the enemy meant for harm i declare i declare that god is turning around for your good there is victory right now in the palm of your hand there is victory that is flowing in and through your body there is healing in the name of jesus there's deliverance in the name of jesus no weapon from the gates to prosper every tongue that rises up against you in judgment i pray right now that god will fight your battle that god will give you victory that god will begin to raise you up that god will bring healing to your home god will bring healing right where you are come on somebody somebody begin to praise him tonight begin to praise him tonight begin to praise him tonight hallelujah i want to just thank you tonight for joining us live on facebook i want to thank you for all of you that have just set around this time i want to welcome you to encounter worship online conference if you want to shout where you are you want to clap where you are you want to experience some church through social media you can do that i want to just invite you tonight to tell you that tonight and tomorrow night and saturday night and sunday night and even sunday afternoon we're going to be praising god we're going to be worshiping god we declare that there is a sound that god is raising up a team god is raising up an army god is raising up believers that is able to speak a thing whatever it is not will begin to appear the bible decrees and declares uh, that if you speak those things that be not uh, as though they were come on you need to do that thing you need to begin to declare the word you need to begin to declare victory in the midst of coronavirus in the midst of covid 19 in the midst of corruption in the midst of of the economy that might have been looking like as if it was sinking let me tell you that there is a turnaround that is coming there is a turnaround that is coming there is a turnaround that is coming god is turning everything that was meant for evil for your good god is turning come on your sorrows into victory god is turning your turmoils into victory god is turning come on he's healing you he's causing deliverance to take place right now the whatever the enemy meant for armor there is no satanic power there is no demon in hell that can come against what God has declared. There is no demon in hell that can come against what God has prepared for you. I want to tell you that God has prepared a place for you, even amongst your enemies. God will begin to give you victory right where you at tonight. I feel that there is such a presence of God that is surrounding me tonight. I can just feel the presence of God. I can just feel the presence of God. You need to tap into that presence tonight as we begin to 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 begin to prophesy and speak uh, positive things into the atmosphere. I declare that there will be an activation uh, in the spirit realm. Uh, I pray uh, that there will be an activation uh, in the realms of the spirit uh, that right now that whatever you speak will begin to collide with the anointing of God. Whatever you declare will begin to collide with the presence of God. Whatever you speak uh, will collide with the word of God. You need to speak the word of God into being. Whatever you speak uh, into your life, uh, whatever you speak speak into your business whatever you speak into the economy whatever you speak into your country whatever you speak into your family that is what you will reap tonight we are not backing down for any devil we are not backing down for any sickness we are taking a stand tonight I just want to remind you that we're starting this conference. It's called uh, Encounter Worship Online Conference. I've got some mighty men and women of God that will be joining me over the nights. Um, I've got Pastor McQueen Sam that will be joining me. I've got Apostle Sharon Van Kittier that will be joining me. I've got Pastor Noel Theophilus that will be joining me. I've got uh, Pastor Nishen, uh, governor from Silo Ministries in Amshlanga. He is going to be joining us uh, in the next couple of days. Uh, I've got Apostle Robin John uh, from Richards Bay, uh, Christian Impact Ministries, uh, all the way from Richards Bay. Uh, he is going to be joining us. Uh, and I want to tell you that we are connecting uh, with men and women of God that will be that know how to speak the word, that know how to speak uh, and seek uh, the deeper 
secrets of God. This, this is not the secret. Let me rephrase that. They, they know how to seek the face of God and unlock the blessings of God. These things that seem as if it is a secret. Let me tell you that when you begin to pray, when you begin to speak the word of God, these things will unlock in your spirit. There will be an unlocking, unlocking and a shift in your spirit. There will be a new level, a high dimension. God will begin to lift you up from wherever you are into a next level into a greater dimension into the supernatural realm where you will encounter God where you will encounter the spirit of God where you will encounter worship where your spirit will be ignited with the fire of God right where you are I pray tonight come on somebody I just pray that you'll begin to believe with me tonight you begin to believe with me tonight I pray uh, that whatever we will be said and done uh, tonight, uh, I know that God will begin to lift you up uh, right where you are. I know uh, that God will begin to lift up your spirit. God will begin to lift you up uh, right where you are. God will begin to to unlock uh, those things, those doors that have been closed. God is going to begin to open up these doors. Uh, I pray uh, that God is going to begin to do some supernatural things over your life. Uh, tonight, I want to once again, for those of you that just joined us, uh, I want to welcome you to our conference, uh, our online conference that will be taking place. Uh, we thank God for social media, for that means that we can go into social media and through social media, they can be an impacting in your spirit uh, through Facebook, uh, through YouTube, uh, through be live whatever social media platform through zoom whatever it is that we're using through technology you will experience this god that we talk about there is going to be a praise that is going to begin to rise up from within your spirit there's going to be a song that is going to begin to rise up from within your spirit there's going to be people that's going to begin to prophesy and speak life into every dead situation i pray that every dry bone is beginning to come alive. Everything, every flesh, every mindset, come on, you need to be renewed by the renewing of your mind. I pray that tonight there will be a lifting up in the spirit for all of you right now as I'm, as I'm praying. As I'm speaking and declaring the word of God, uh, I pray uh, that tonight uh, there will be something that will begin to connect within your spirit. Uh, I want you to connect with somebody. Send them a message if you have to. Begin to send them a message if you have to. I see we've got Pastor Nishen Rupral that is, uh, that is online. God bless you, sir. God bless you, Pastor. Thank you so much for coming online. God richly bless you. Thank you for joining us. Uh, an anointed man of God, a blessed man of God. I uh, thank you. I uh, thank you. I see Violet Manuram has come online. My mom is online as well, Charmaine Naidu. She's online. Thank you so much for, for coming, everybody that is coming online. For those of you that are connecting and commenting uh, on whatever we have to say, I pray that tonight there will be a blessing from within your spirit. I want you to share this video with somebody. I want you to share this video with somebody. There's going to be an impact that is going to begin to take place from within your spirit. I pray that there will be an impact that will take place from within your spirit. For all of you, that are going to be joining us. I want you to, I want to tell you that there's going to be a powerful impact in your life tonight. Uh, I've got Pastor McQueen Sam that is going to be joining me in the next few minutes. Uh, Pastor McQueen Sam, hallelujah, hallelujah. We praise God, we glorify him, we glorify the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Pastor, can you hear me? Amen. I just joined in. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for Pastor McQueen that has come online uh, tonight. We thank you, sir, for joining us. Uh, we thank you, Pastor, for being a part of us and being a part of our program. We're starting Encounter Worship Online Conference. We Amen. declare we declare a victory and a sound in the atmosphere that God, I can already feel as I began to sing and worship God, there is already a sound and a victory that is in Hallelujah. the atmosphere. There's Hallelujah. a supernatural things are beginning to take place. We pray that whatever the enemy meant for harm, God is turning around for our good. Hallelujah. Good. Hallelujah. Thank you for so much for joining us tonight. Uh, and I pray, uh, God, that uh, even as we begin to continue, Pastor, you're going to take over and you're going to share word with the people that are online and you're going to pray and you're going to just share something, whatever God lays upon your heart. Uh, we've got a lot of people that are coming online with us tonight. I want to welcome you and I want to introduce to you Pastor McQueen Sam. 
Amen. Well, praise the Lord, everybody, and greetings to you from our home to your home. I pray that you all are well and, uh, you know, having a blessed day. Uh, we locked down, but we're not locked out, uh, Minister Lewandon. Amen, amen. Amen. And we serve a great God, a mighty God, a holy God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so we're going to, you know, thank you for, for hosting such a, uh, uh, a program like this. That whilst we can be locked down, but God has opened so much of opportunities, so many doors yes. as he opened, you know, and yeah, who said that we can't have a conference online? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And we're trusting God for great and mighty things. Hallelujah. Let's just do the song tonight. How great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. Oh, sing how great, how great is our God. Sing how great is our God. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. Oh, sing how great, how great is our God. Jesus' name above all names. Jesus' name above all names. You are worthy of all praise. And my heart will sing how great is our God. Hallelujah, Jesus' name, Jesus' name above all names. You are worthy of all praise, and my heart can sing how great is our God. How great is our God? Sing with me. Yeah. How great, how great is our God. Is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. All sing how great, how great is our God. Let me do the splendor of the King. The splendor of the King. Though the majesty of the earth rejoice, though the earth rejoice. He wraps itself in darkness has to hide and trembles at his voice, trembles at his voice, trembles at his voice, trembles at his Everybody online, sing with me. How great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. How great how great is our God. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus, we declare tonight, oh God, you are great and greatly to be praised. Lord, we say that there's no one like you, great God. You are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore, Jesus. We sing praises to your matchless name. We glorify you. We magnify Hallelujah. you, Jesus. You are holy, oh God. You are holy. You are mighty, Jesus. Lord, we thank you, dear God, that you are the lily of the valley, the bright and the morning star, Jesus. You are the hope of this world, oh God. You are the shepherd of our soul, Father. And today we give you control. Live on the stream, oh God. Through the airwaves, go oh Jesus. Through the, 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 the various platforms and the various people that will be watching this right now, God, together we can shout it out together we can declare that you are the great I am, God. You are the everlasting Father. Oh, yes. Jesus, you yes. are magnificent. You are yes. holy, oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We sing praises to your name, oh, God. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. I don't know about you tonight, but I'm ready to have church. I'm ready to sing hallelujah. to the Lord and, and give him glory. Amen. Hallelujah. And his matchless Praise name. God. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. amen. You have a favorite song, Minister Wendon. Let's sing. Hallelujah. 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 that just joined us online a very warm warm welcome to you thank you so much for coming online and experiencing encounter worship online conference i want to tell you that there is power in the name of jesus there is victory in the name of jesus there is healing in the name of jesus so i want to welcome you and invite you to invite somebody and tell them that this is not just an ordinary meeting or something that is taking place on facebook or on youtube or any platform that whatever you've seen or heard i want you to come in expecting something renewed expecting something a refreshed word a fresh encounter with God because let me tell you something when you begin to collide with the presence of God tonight as possible begin to declare word as we begin to talk about uh, this great God that we serve uh, and just come from our homes into your home and welcome you uh, and I want to tell you that there is possibilities uh, through Christ Jesus Uh, there 
all impossibilities that you thought that is going to weigh you down and break you up and destroy you, whatever was meant for your harm. God is turning those impossibilities into possibilities tonight. Hallelujah, Pastor. You agree with me tonight? That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. You know, there's a there's a bit of a lag on our on our on our live feed, so please bear with me if I'm catching you minutes later. Uh, uh, partially why I got on, uh, you know, a few minutes late as well is I'm having network issues in the area where I am. But indeed, we can still praise the Lord. Network or no network, we can Amen. glorify Jesus at any time. Yes. Amen. Anywhere. He's not in the location or in the venue where we used to go on yes. Sundays. Jesus yes. is right there in your home right now. He's ministering to you right now. He can heal you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise God. So welcome, brothers and sisters. Share the, share the broadcast. Tell him, hey, come on. Church is happening and you got to get on to speed and feel what God God is doing. Brothers and sisters, if God can do it for me in my home, I am confident God can do it in your home tonight. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Pastor, so tonight we're going to be talking about the power of prayer and the power of the word of God. The anointing Amen. of God and worship and worship. I believe that the theme of our conference is called prayer, word, and worship. And we're going to be talking about the, 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 the possibilities that lie within a stable prayer life. And somebody knows how to pray. Somebody knows how to strategize against the enemy through their prayer yes. life. Because you see, the enemy is strategizing, planning, and plotting against us as children of God. Amen. And you see Amen. the important thing that us as children of God, we need to understand that if we're just going to sit back and relax, the enemy is going to have a party right around us. There's going to be sickness. There's going to be disease. There's going to be all these negative, uh, uh, the, 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 the collapsing of the economy and everything that he's been encountering right now. We want to say that we will not encounter that. We will oh. encounter Jesus. In the Amen. midst of that, we will encounter Amen. God in the midst of the impossibilities. We, through whatever we're going through, we will encounter a worship, a heart of worship, that when the true sons and daughters will begin to go on their knees and worship God, there will be possibilities that will ooze out of their system. There will be an oil that will begin to flow out of their system. Come on Amen. now. I want you just Amen. to share a little bit. Pastor, if you could just share on the possibilities that you have encountered through your prayer life, through understanding of the word of God, and through, I know you love worship. I know you are a worshiper. You are a worshiper at heart, amen. So I want you just to share, and I want you to encourage people that are feeling discouraged. They don't want to pick up the guitar. They don't want to sing a song of praise and worship. They don't know how to pray. Some of the people I know how that I've spoken to, they want to pray. They don't know how to pray. And they're feeling discouraged because they're feeling as if they, they don't have those words. You know, we need to pray simple praise, but sometimes they're just feeling this attack and the strategy of the enemy. Like it's, it's, it's putting a puzzle, putting them in a maze. They need to know how to use those words. They need to know what to say. They need to now rise up as an army. You know, we've been singing that song. There's an army rising up. Now is the time when an army begins to go into the battlefield, they begin to make a sound. There's a sound that will begin to come on. People can hear the thumping sound of soldiers that is walking before them. They begin to see the crowd. They begin to feel the presence of a superior presence that is within them. They feel superiority. They feel, hey, when the armies was deployed in our country, People said, hey, this is not the South African police services. This is now the army. This is now something we can't even go to our gate, even though whatever has been going around, they, you know, so much of people take a chance with the South African police service. They take a chance with the security companies. Things still go on. But the moment the president announced our president, uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa, he said that now the army is going to come out to help control this pandemic and bring upon a disciplined action that is taking place in our country. People began to get silenced and they began to feel superiority around them. Now I'm saying that through this conference, they will feel the superiority of God's army that is upon them. 
they will encounter that fear they will feel that hey the enemy is now not going to fear the, the same fear that they had for this uh, for the armies around the world that has been rising up and god bless them we thank them for the work that they're doing we appreciate what they're doing but we want to say that there is an army a spiritual army an anointed army a power packed blood wash sanctified holy ghost filled supernatural army that is rising up and so i want to say that tonight you know what it is to walk alongside and with that army now people might be thinking i might be a little bit crazy but maybe if they yell from two people they might yell from you and a lot of people love you and they listen to you thank you they listen to you daily and they love you and they appreciate you and they thank you for your ministry and i want to thank you as well for everything that you do we understand and we know the heart of god that you have the heart of the father that is embedded into you that you would not turn away from that and i want to thank you for that and i want to now ask you i i want to stop talking now because i can feel that is there is a presence that is right here tonight but i want you to share past if you can just share with the people what happens when they encounter the, uh, the this word what happens when they encounter worship and when they encounter a prayer life that is true before the, the father amen you know you know minister levan and god bless you once again thank you so much for uh, you know inviting me to be on your program today i'm honored Uh, I always like to be at the opposite end where we 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 are like to host great men and and women of God you know so to be on this end of the of the video uh, finds of, is a little bit uh, uncomfortable for me but praise God uh, I will share with what God has laid upon my heart this afternoon I've been praying I've been trusting God I've been waiting on God I said Lord I will be ministering to people you know from a from a very different uh, perspective normally like i mentioned i would be sitting in your place uh, to be uh, the anchor praise god but i i want to i want to start off by saying when i began to think about the word encounter and we began to talk about this you know uh, over this last this weekend and uh, and you messaged me and said pastor would you be part of this conference i said with pleasure praise god the first thing that i why i'm so confident is because when i first when we first started the church 14 years ago we started off with just almost like one person i was just a single person when we started off church so to preach to to myself is not is not something new praise god amen and so when to 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 speak to a camera or to a webcam it's it's easy praise god <laughs> talking to a wall and practicing your preaching is is easy of speaking to a mirror praise god but yes something about encounter that was just an ad break but yes something about an encounter you find jesus christ dies and there's such a there's such a, a quietness that's going on in 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 the city of Jerusalem but he told his disciples my word he told his disciples i want you to do this i want you to tarry i want you to wait in Jerusalem i don't want you to go i want you to wait there because something's going to happen so we think brothers and sisters that we go into a lockdown now and it's the first time that something like this happened no well let me tell you right there in bible days there was a lockdown and those people had to be waiting for the power on high god said i will endure you i will endure you with power from on high amen and that's what acts the book of acts chapter 1 verse 8 he says if we can just remain locked down for a period of time and just wait amen something good is going to happen and the bible says in acts 1:8 he received power after that the holy ghost has come upon you praise god then you become a witness then you go to judea samaria you go to to jerusalem to the uttermost parts of the earth amen proclaiming and propagating the gospel of jesus christ hallelujah so the encounter is something great but to encounter the encounter there has to be a waiting period amen praise god and if you and i don't don't know how to wait we'll never encounter the encounter praise god hallelujah amen so so thank you firstly for inviting me to be part of encounter worship praise god and so the, the question that you, that you put through to me you know pastor mac of uh, uh, tell us more about what about worship and what you do and pray and praise i i told somebody today this this i said to them listen if you happen to if uh, take away the word and take away the worship out of my lifestyle it's just as good as you killed me or i'm dead it's a suicide amen if you take the breath of god out of my life i don't know anything else i'm i really am no professional amen i'm not a professional sport player i'm not a professional uh, uh, uh you know in 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 some in some scientific uh, 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 uh 
way of life praise god i'm not uh, uh, you know inclined with the uh, the doctrines and the honors as some people may have that i don't have that but the little that i know in christ has given me more than i that i need i know how to worship god i know how to pray for what i desire praise god i know something about faith hallelujah that if i can just believe it god said all things are possible to who to them that believe not to them them that, that 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 have you know everything all looking good in their life praise god but to all of them that know how yeah. to believe so to encounter that we need to know how and what and why praise god and i can tell you brothers and sisters those of you that are listening to me today pastor mac doesn't just become pastor mac like that praise god as a young kid i yes. knew i was taught how to pray because i watched my dad i watched my parents kneel down before the the coffee table uh, minister when in those years we call them yes. coffee table i don't yes. know if they still have coffee tables nowadays praise god but but we had something called a coffee table and at 6 p.m every night was prayer night every night i tell you for me as a kid it was oh my word why do we have to pray i mean we were in a in a in the heat of a soccer game outside with the boys and and here we are called to come and pray i mean I, I'm, i'm winning in my cricket game with my boys and i'm batting and it's 10 to 5 and i gotta run for my life because i know six o'clock is prayer time praise god well all of that has made me who i am today praise the lord amen because if we don't know how to pray we will never enjoy what god and the benefits that god has for us praise god so so brothers and sisters what it is to encounter this worship well The Bible teaches us that in the book of Acts chapter 2 these men are up there in the in the upper room. The Bible teaches us there's about 500 that starts off in the upper room. There's over 500 people that are up in the upper room in the Lewandon and they are they are waiting for the promise. Now Joel prophesied about the promise and and I'm glad that I kind of captured the statements of of Joel in his prophecy which is this is that and so we have the program on highway radio called this is that and so Joel prophesied that in the last days he's going to pour out his spirit upon all flesh praise god old men shall dream dreams young men shall see visions and so after that prophecy of Joel nothing happens there's a lockdown the lord comes in jesus christ walks the face of the earth he does creative miracles he does great great and mighty things he has his disciples walking with him he turns water into wine finally he is betrayed by his one of his hand chosen he is then crucified but he told them to tarry and so when you look at the book of acts this chapter 2 these people are in the upper room and they are tarrying and they are waiting the bible in the book of acts chapter 1 records about 120 are in the upper room my yeah. question is what happened to the other 380 plus could they not have waited yes. where they uh, did they have another assignment did, was the lockdown period over in their life did they did they forget something was there something much more important amen today i'm talking to every brother and sister that's listening to me today or in the future praise god i want to tell you if we can only learn to wait on god to tarry on god god is not slack concerning his promises brothers and sisters god is true amen the bible says let god be true. and every man a liar god will never fail you if he promised uh, to, to joel and he says joel i'm going to pour out my spirit we find that great phenomenon taking place in the book of acts chapter 2 and when they were all in one place when they were they in one accord the spirit of the lord fell amen they began to speak in other oh, tongues as the spirit of god oh, gave them utterance they needed to be a lockdown so that they en- could encounter what was oh, to be encountered oh, praise god you Your home will never be the yeah. same your life will never be the yes. same brothers and sisters I amen mean. your challenge that you go with yeah. will become an anthill instead of a mountain because the god that you serve is able to give I you mean. every good gift every power from on high amen everything that you need is in you and Thank god you. is able to do that in your Thank life you. hallelujah praise god amen. you can encounter that if you know how to worship So who is Mac and why does Mac speak like this and what 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 does Mac really do well my day is full of worshiping the Lord I want to tell you that every day every day you know uh 
What's this guy? David. David says that, Lord, thy, uh, thy words have I, th have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against you. I'll rise up in the morning. Mm -hmm. I'll sing your praises at noontime, at mid in the evening, at midnight. I'm going to sing your praises because David knew how to grab the attention of God. Amen. And the Bible even makes, finds that young man because God saw his heart. While some saw, we saw, we saw a JPEG picture of one saying, uh, when God saw, when others saw a shepherd boy, God saw a king. Praise God. It's because God sees further than where we can. Some may be in a place right now and you feel like you are destitute. You feel like, oh my word, am I ever going to go past this lockdown? Some of us may be seeing our cupboard and saying, oh God, I'm never going to live. I'm never going to make it to the end of the month. Praise God. You find a woman with us with a son. She had the last meal and she could have looked at that oil and said, oh my, this is our last meal. But when you when you are, are, are at the, at, down to nothing, God is up to something, brothers and sisters. Amen. And I can tell you, when we get on our knees and we begin to pray, when we begin to spend our time in fasting and praying and trusting and waiting on God. Now, here's something that I want to make public to you, which I learned from scripture. Praise God. This may be, you know, I, 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 I may sound sometimes, Minister Lewandon, a very controversial speaker. I'll tell you why controversial. It's because I like to stay true to the Bible. I, I can back whatever I'm saying by Bible. Praise God. I won't pick up a book that somebody wrote to back me up because no man can, def the Bible is doesn't need anyone to defend itself. Praise God. God doesn't need me to defend yes. his word. Let God's word be true. Praise God. And every man a liar. Hallelujah. And so I stand on God's word. Now, here's something very important. When you and I go on a time of fast, nobody should know about it. Nobody. It's not something that I should make public. And who are I am on a fast. Hold on. Watch out for me. I'm coming, devil. Praise God. Oh, no, no, no. You find Jesus himself isolates himself. He takes himself into a private place, in a private session. And he goes and he hibernates, so to speak, because he's focusing his mind. He's focusing his thoughts. He's focusing everything that I'm now on a lockdown because I'm up to something. You see our lockdown right now, brothers and sisters, is for a purpose. It's not the economy is plundering down. The, uh, uh, you know, our, our uh, we've just been downgraded the second time. The banks have been downgraded. There are companies and businesses that are closing. Minutes before I could go on live, I've just heard that, that, that staff are going to be taking a reduction in salary and they're not sure it's going to happen for a couple of months and they're not sure if it will continue or if there will be job losses. So the lockdown is causing, it will bring a lot of, a lot of pain to the economy of the country and to people's lives. But here's the thing. Here's the thing, brothers and sisters. Amen. You and I, you and I, when there's a lockdown in our life, when we need to lock down, the purpose of this lockdown is to stop a virus that will annihilate the country. That is the purpose. That is purely the purpose of our uh, of government. If they had it their way and they were not interested in people, they would say, continue your daily life long as the, the JSC and the stock exchange and the companies are still blooming. But what would happen to the state of people? What would happen to you and I? We would die. And so the purpose, the primary purpose of this lockdown is so that people's lives will be saved. What is the primary purpose of our lockdown? When we are down and on our knees and praying, you've got to have faith in what you're praying for. You've got to believe yes. in God for what you're praying for. Yes. Minister Wendell, what I want to tell yes. you, brother, you can stop me. I don't know if I'm going like a gravy train here today, but I'm just so excited to speak God's word. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise God. Can I go on? Yes, you go on. You go on. <laughs> I'm excited. Praise God. You but yes, yes. Here's something. Here's something about Jesus. When we are locked down, you gotta have faith and believe God that He's gonna provide it for you. Amen. Pray the will of God in your life. Let God know yes. what your desires are. 
Tell God, I can tell you as I sit in my home to, today, amen. I'm no millionaire, I'm no billionaire, I'm no thousandaire. Praise God. You're welcome to check my bank balance and you come in and you can you can you can make up your own mind in my life. But I can tell you that I live by faith, amen. I can tell you I can ask God whatever I desire, and if He tells me it's not so, I am able to accept it, but I know my God will provide it when the time is right. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters. Sisters, God will never withhold any good thing from you. Take it from me, Pastor Mac, today. Praise God. I was fired from my job many, many years ago. Amen. No one thought I could make it. I've had debt that drowned me three times. Amen. Oh, my word. Hallelujah. Worst of all, I passed a church in all the impoverished communities of KZN. People told me, shut it down. What good can come? You can't get any money from people. Uh, praise God. And that's the type of minister that is speaking to you today. I don't have businessmen in my congregation. I don't have any money, any person saying, listen here, I've got your back. You just keep up. That I'm pumping X amount of money. I know about my God and my faith. Come on, somebody. If you want to encounter this, you got to spend time in prayer and letting God know what your desire is, brothers and sisters. Oh, my word. I Amen. know I might be preaching a Amen. hard word to somebody and somebody may be getting a little bit uh, hot under the collar. Well, let me tell you, I am not somebody that's looking for any fame or fortune, Minister Luan, and you probably got the wrong guy on your on your, on your your broadcast tonight, amen, because I want to tell every brother, brother and sister listening to me, you can be yes. healed tonight in Jesus' name if you just have the faith where you are right now. I have the faith it. and say, God, I know that you are able to do it for me. Praise the name of the Lord. You're looking at a guy that was crippled. You're looking at a guy whose fingers were all broken. All the metacarpals were crushed. Hallelujah. You look at a person that really can't, can't, can't do that. Praise God. I have a disability that most of you don't know. You will find out that I have two fingers the same height. You can look at my two center fingers the same height. I've been broken. I've been crushed physically. Amen. Praise God. But I can tell you when I encountered Jesus, Oh, my word. Hallelujah. When I encountered him, he came. When Jesus got a hold of my life, the, the songwriter says, he won't let go. Hallelujah. And he must do a finished work. So yes. prayer, yes. prayer yes. is important. Prayer yes. is important. You're spending time at home. You're spending time at home, brothers and sisters. We need to spend time in prayer. We need to spend time in that quiet time, in that lockdown. And let God know exactly how you feel. Let him know exactly what's going on in your life. There were some challenges that I went through personally. Broken. I was broken. I was shattered in pieces. Praise God. Amen. I was like, how? Why, Lord? Why me? Praise God. I told you. Lost my job. How do I manage? God, I've got a bond to pay. I've got a motor vehicle. I've got debt. I've got... How do I survive? Didn't Jesus in his word promise us? He says, I will be with you always. He says, for I know the plans that I have for you. Brothers and sisters, yes. my brothers, wherever you are right now, musicians, wherever you are, tuning into Minister Lewandon's live broadcast. Amen. God called you for such a time like this. You can't be seated with gift of music in your hands and playing that for the world, making, making the world dance to your music. Praise God. That music is for Jesus and for Jesus only. Praise God. Hallelujah. You can't be sitting there with a the voice of a nightingale, brothers and uh, sister by sister, and singing out for the world. You should be singing a love song unto Jesus. In moments like this, I'm going to sing out a song. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I told you I'm not going to be popular. Amen. But I've got to speak the truth. I've got to speak the truth because Jesus Christ is coming for a church. He's coming for a church that without spot in, and without blemish. In other words, we've got to have nothing to do with this world. Oh, my word. We live in the world. We are in this world, but we are not of this world. Christ is coming. And therefore, how do I communicate with him? In the book of Acts chapter 4, in the book of Acts chapter 4, verse 29, Praise God, Minister Lewan, and I'm so excited to share God's word. If you think I'm going over my time, you just pop me and say, how's it, Matthew? You, 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 Amen. Amen. Everyone's already in their homes. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Amen. This is what the book of Acts chapter 4, verse 29. If I die, please remember me to be a boy, to be a man uh, uh, that loves the book of Acts. Praise God. If you put an F in front of Acts, you get the word facts. And that is all that takes place, facts, action, and, uh, and, there's, and, and, and there's true things, uh, uh, miracles taking place. The book of Acts chapter 4, verse 29 
and 30, the Bible says that by stretching forth thine hand, thine hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of the holy child Jesus. Praise God. Stretching forth your hand, crying upon the Lord. You see, there's an old saying. I remember you when I was growing up in our home, we had, we had a, a praying hand. It was, it was a shape of a hand. And on it was inscribed, prayer changes things. Prayer changes things. How true it is. Prayer changes things. But I like when I went into, into reading God's word, I want to bring a little twist to it or a little addition to it. Amen. I'm not adding to it because that's not, it's, 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 it's what God does. Praise God. But I believe prayer changes us. Prayer changes us. Before prayer changes things, prayer real, really changes us. Some of you may have a husband that's really an alcoholic, or you have a, a child or a family member that's really wayward. When you begin to pray and say, God, this is my situation. Give me strength. You know what God does? The drug addict may not necessarily change immediately. The alcoholic husband may not necessarily change immediately. But your attitude towards that particular person or that situation or that challenge because it changes, praise God. You're able to endure a little bit more. You're able, some of you are, are, are going on for 20, 30 years, but month number one, you never thought that you'd make it. You thought, oh my word, what's going to happen? God, you said prayer changes things and nothing changed. Oh no, God, prayer changes us. Prayer changes the way we look at things. You know, there was a time, Minister Luan, and that I was, I, was a, I was a boy that really, uh, I, I had a lot of anger inside of me, a lot of anger. I was angry about a person that did us down. We lost everything in life. We, we, were, we were left, man, uh, you know, stranded, destitute. And the man that did us down actually was a pastor, really was a pastor. That's, I can't lie, uh, just the truth. He did us down so badly, and we were left with all of our furniture from our evicted from our own house. Okay, that's the truth. And 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 I was like, you know, I was still young, I was 10 years old then, I didn't really understand what really went down. And as I got older, then only did I realize my word, there's something serious. We we were in a big problem here. This guy did something bad to us, and so I began to put a plan together. I wanted to get even with this guy. And really, when I was 13 years old, in Jesus' name, as I say this, I went to kill this guy. I went to petrol bomb this man's house. I was so filled with anger because how can he do that to my dad, to my sisters, my two sisters? How can he do that to my mom? We're such a loving family. We won't even hurt a fly. In fact, outside in our bin, we pet them. We give them, they make them come sit there. The fly is true. Praise God. God, that's just a joke. Amen. But we would not harm anybody. Why do that to us? And so I grew up with so much anger. And my prayer was such. My prayer was, Lord, I pray that you'll get, Lord, take this guy out. Clean him out, Father. Make him suffer. Make him be in pain. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's praying that type of prayer. Lord, make them, make them suffer. I know, I know when I was growing up, sometimes, you know, I, I, when I was a pastor, I, I, I began to listen to, you know, I go back and I relate to some prayers. And I must have been about 10, 11 years old. And I can remember going for some cottage meetings or cell meetings, as they're now called. Back then, you, you, you have this one auntie that will pray, Lord, bless that person who never come to cell meeting today. May they feel the pain, Lord. May, the, may they know that they, they should have been here. Worry them, trouble them, give them sleepless nights tonight, Lord. You know, that was a type of prayer people used to pray. I, I tell you, now I laugh about it. I was like, I'll shame auntie, you're so bad praying a type of prayer like that. You know, but I come back to this thought, prayer changes us. Prayer changes us in the way, in the way we address things, in the way we look at life, in the way we look at situations. This hot-headed, tempered fellow, young boy, when I was growing up, the way I hated this man, became a timid fellow because the prayer that I was praying really changed me, changed me to look at life in a different way. That God is able to make this become my testimony. And today, my prayer... Minister Lewandon is, Lord, won't you bless that man more than you've blessed us? 
Lord, okay. increase in his life more than you've increased mm -hmm. in us. One might say that's okay. stupidity. Amen. But that's what prayer does. Prayer changes us. Prayer causes us to have compassion. Amen. Prayer causes us to, to he, apart from him delivering on his promise that in blessings he will bless thee, praise God. God will increase in your strength. You know, when you pray, the Bible says, Lo, when I'm weak, then am I strong. How does that come alive, brothers and sisters? In weakness, we begin to see the strength of God. It's when we begin to pray. It's when we begin to trust and, and wait on God. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 38, we find Hezekiah. Hezekiah received a very shocking message. Let's talk about an encounter. This was an encounter, amen, that really scared the, 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 the daylights out of Hezekiah. The Bible says, okay. uh, the Lord is saying to Hezekiah, he says, set thine house in order. Oh, my word. Set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Oh, my word. Thou shalt die and and not live. That was what Hezekiah had to do. The word of the Lord came to Hezekiah. And in this lockdown, God is telling to the nations of this world, God is telling to me in my house, God is speaking to me and he's telling me, Mac, set your house in order or else you will okay. die. Praise God. I got to take God's word into my life. I say, God, help me. Where? How? And this is what Hezekiah says. Uh, God said, he said, I have, uh, you know, as Hezekiah goes and he spends time on what, what he, what, what the word of the Lord came to him, he goes and he begins to pray. He goes and he begins to travail. He goes and he brings and offers everything to God and say, God, but I've been a good guy. I've done everything that you've done. He brought, he, he brought all of his experience to the table. This is what the mm -hmm. Lord says in the book of Isaiah chapter 38 verse 5. I have heard thy prayer. I have heard thy prayer. Praise God. Brothers and sisters, you got to hear me today. Amen. I'm sure you can hear me. Hallelujah. Amen. God is saying to our nation, set your house in order. And in verse number five, praise God, four verses later, from verse number one, four verses later, the Lord is saying to Hezekiah, I have heard thy prayer and I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will add unto thy days 15 years. You see what prayer does? You see what worship does? Amen. You see what having an encounter with the Lord, having a communication, a conversation with the Lord. Imagine if Ezekiah had to wait for the next Sunday morning to have this encounter or wait for the following Sunday or wait for the Tuesday. Praise God. He'll be missing out on the true encounter of with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I can imagine, imagine Ezekiah saying, oh God, today when I woke up, I'm not going to die. Please don't let me die. Add to me, oh God. Hallelujah. I want to tell to every listener today, everyone that's watching and viewing us, praise God tonight, you've got to have an encounter with Jesus. You've got to set your face, uh, amen, out there. Lay prostrate if you have to, but come to God and say, God, oh no, don't take away my life. God, don't take away my family. God, don't take away my job. God, give me good health. Lord, give me good strength. Hallelujah. God will see your prayer. God will see your tears. And God will add to you the way he had it to Hezekiah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. We serve a mighty God. So prayer changes us, brothers and sisters. Yeah. Amen. Prayer changes us. You know, uh, uh, the disciples in the book of Acts chapter 4 were threatened. And they were warned not to speak or to preach in the name of Jesus. Praise God. They did not react by going to God in prayer pleading. They didn't go to God and say, Lord, change the things. They didn't say, God, these people are telling us not to pray in your name. Amen. But they, but, but, uh, or they, or they didn't say, Lord, change our circumstances. Rather, they asked the Lord. Amen. Would they, they asked the Lord that he would grant unto thy servants with all the boldness that they might speak the word. Amen. That's found in the book of Acts chapter 4 verse 29. What is happening here? While somebody is trying to shut us up and tell us, keep quiet. Don't talk about this Jesus. Amen. You don't find his disciples saying, Lord, send a, send a squad car to come pick me up. Oh, Lord, send the bodyguards to come and protect me. 
They are not saying, Lord, take me away from this place or evict me quickly or, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, send, send uh, 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 help, send the army to me. Oh, no. Yeah. They are saying, Lord, give me the boldness. Give me, Lord, not somebody else, but give me the boldness. I'm going to face the lion right there and tell the lion, oh, no, I'm not afraid of you. You don't find Goliath, David. David's at a place one day. He's in the shepherd field and, and he's taking lunch to his brothers who are at the battlefield. And right there at the battlefield, he sees this, this, this uh, 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 uncircumcised Philistine. And this Philistine is, is shouting out and he's saying, send me a man, send me a man. The, the Israelites are all afraid, standing there at that at the mountain, afraid. Brothers and sisters, you that know Jesus Christ, Brothers and sisters, you that have not encountered Jesus Christ as yet, those of you that are yes. listening first time to this young man, Pastor Matt, praise God. I want to tell you that just you and God is an army. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You and God Hallelujah. is an army. You've got nothing Amen. to fear. Hallelujah. When you Amen. just encounter Jesus one time, yes. hallelujah, God is able to change your situation. You see, David was not moved by the army, the Israelite army. As a matter of fact, he tried out the armor of King Saul and he found out, Saul, this is not not the, uh, the armor that I am used to. I know the armor of the Lord. Praise God. You find young David pick up stones. And you find young David standing there. And he's picked up his stones. And he goes towards this Philistine. And he uses just one stone to bring down this large, big giant named Goliath. Because yeah. David and the Lord was a big army. Praise God. Whatever giant may be standing in your way. When you know how to pray, we come back to David who wrote many Psalms and David taught us how to pray. David spent time locked down or locked out in the shepherd field. Praise God. Yeah. Blazing his uh, help is finding green pastures for his sheep. He finds his a time to pray. And I can tell you something. God will take a shepherd boy. God will take someone that smelt of sheep. One that spent time in a very lonely place with no friends talking and ministering right. to sleep. You'll find God will take you, brothers and sisters. You might amount to, according to people, amount to nothing. People might find no value in you. Amen. People might outcast you. There's Pastor Mac here. Families and friends cast us aside. Amen. They said nothing good can come out of this family. Well, let's listen to me tonight. Yes. Amen. If God can use somebody like us, praise God. What's wrong with you that has the degree, that has the honors, that has the doctorate? What's wrong with you that has the accolades? What's wrong with you that has the potential, amen, to become somebody greater? Hallelujah. The key is to encounter God in prayer and praise. Hallelujah. Spend time with God. Amen. Spend time in your closet where you are right now, where you're watching me right now. Praise God. Is my place of, of worship. It's my, it's my corner where I come and magnify the Lord. Just not every day, but every time, praise God. Every occasion, if I'm in my lounge, if I'm on the road, if I'm somewhere, I want to be caught working and worshiping my God. Praise God. Let me bring this to a close, Minister Lewandon, tonight. Hallelujah. I just get excited worshiping God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, brother. Amen. 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 You see, uh, 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 praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Are you still there? Yes, amen. Hallelujah. It, it, is, it is not so important what happens to us. Here's my key. It is not so important what happens to us. It is more important what happens in us. Let me say that again. It is not yes. so important what happens to us. It is more important what happens in us. You're listening to a young man today. Praise God. And I told you our family history, we lost everything. For 10 years, we stayed on the platform of a church. We didn't have a house. I didn't have a, we didn't have a, a, a proper address to call our home. We didn't have a proper place to have a bath every day. We used to have a bath outside. Well, outside became the more modern style. We made a little shack outside where we were staying. 
and we have, used to have a bath every night. I'm not unashamed. This can go public, but I want to tell people what God has done. People mustn't think Mac just fell from the sky. Hallelujah. He's called Pastor Mac. There's been some travail, brothers and sisters. There's been some waiting. There's been some praying in our closet time. Hallelujah. And look what the Lord has done. He's turned my morning into, into joy. My, my, my sorrow into joy. He's turned my morning into dancing. He's turned my sickness into health. He's turned my broken hand into, into, into fingers of worship and praise for him. God can do the same for you. So it's not, not so important what happens to us. It's more important what happens in us. More important what happens in us. This young man that was full with anger and rage inside me, God turned me to, I think, a young compassionate person to say love him, to love that man. It's hard to love somebody that did you down, stole, stole from you your own property. It's hard to love somebody Brothers and sisters that betrayed you. You know, Jesus Christ died even for Judas. Although Judas didn't find his, uh, make repentance or, or, or make his peace with the Lord. But yet Jesus Christ still died. He even died for the sinner on the cross, on the left and right of him. He died for the whole world. Amen. And so no one is exempt from this love of God. But it's best we come to a point of repentance. It's best we come to a place where... Don't try to worship God and praise God, brothers and sisters, with pride. Don't try to come to him and say, I'm a good musician on keyboard and there's no one like me. Oh, no, brothers and sisters. God doesn't need all of that. He doesn't need our pride. He needs people that come to a point of repentance to say, Lord, here I am. I give all yes. myself to thee. Lord, use yes. me for your glory. Our pride can't glory in the presence of the Lord. Amen. No, the Bible says no flesh can glory in the presence of God. Amen. Brothers and sisters. We are living in perilous times. It's now perilous times that we are living in. And we best be living a life for God. So it's more important what happens in us. Minister Lewandon, God made me a softie. I began to pray for this guy. The time I began to release this man and pray for him, then healing began mm -hmm. to come into my own life. Imagine how ironic mm -hmm. that is. You try, you, okay. before you are praying a prayer of of doom and death over somebody. Now you pray in a prayer of love and forgiveness for that same person. Okay. And mm. imagine God heals this person. Instead mm. of doing the work there, God begins to heal this person. Not many years ago, I was called, I, was, I escorted my dad to a local hospital. And as I got to this hospital, my dad was, was slowing up in age and in body health and uh, uh, he, he asked me to take him to this hospital to go and pray for somebody. So I said, dad, <clears throat> with pleasure, who are we praying for? And dad told me the name of the person. I tell you, as I'm holding my dad's hand and we're walking up the stairs in this, in this hospital, Minister Wendon, I said, oh my word, it's the same man that did us down some 20 years ago. I can tell you what, yeah, I did get a little hot under the collar. I can tell you, I won't lie. I won't lie. It's after about, it was at that time, about 30 years later that I'm seeing this man. And I can tell you, my first view at him, I stretched out my hand whilst he's in the hospital bed. I stretched my hand for him and I said, God bless you, Pastor so-and-so. I am now Pastor McWayne Sam. And I want to tell you in my opening introduction, man, I love you. And I want you to know I forgive you. I can tell you there, just then and there, the man would have had a heart attack and died. <laughs> you know why? It's because God did a work in me. He did a work in me to no more carry the pain and the betrayal of yesteryears. No more yes. carry some things we needed to lay down and leave it there. Never mind I was cheated upon. Never mind, I was lied upon. Never mind, I was left broken, you know, by the wayside. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, where you are, change your prayer. Change your encounter and wait on God for the promise that he has for you. Praise God. This is what Jesus Christ says in the book of uh, Corinthians chapter 12, 7 to 10. Amen. You see, Paul prayed. Paul had a thorn in his flesh. He didn't say, God, remove the stone. 
He didn't say, Lord, take this away from me or, 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 or do something in my life. This is what Jesus Christ responds to him. He says, but my grace is sufficient for you. My grace is sufficient for you. Today, dear worshipers, dear praise and worshipers, brothers and sisters all over the world that are watching this live broadcast, I want to appreciate my brother, Minister Lewandon, on this first day of this conference and counter worship. I want to encourage you to seek the face of the Lord now more than ever. We are living in days and Bible scripture has taught us, it's given us the, the blueprints already that we are in for a rough and a rocky road. Hear me again, yeah. we are in for a rough and a rocky road. Fasten your seat belts, brothers and sisters. Stay true to the word of God. Align your life to the word of God because anytime we may be called up, amen, and you would want to make sure that your name, I want to make sure that my name is on that roll call, that when God calls out, I want to make sure he calls out McWayne and Sam. I want to say, yeah. Lord, present. I made it. Amen. I want to hear him say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Praise God. Enter into your rest. What is stopping you? What is denying you? Amen. Don't get caught up with all this fanatics and all the cosmetics and all the things of this world. Praise God. You found out that in the last 13 days, your car couldn't take you where you wanted to go. You found out that your house was too big, ma'am. It was too big and you are battling to clean it for the last 13 days. You found out, oh my word, I've got so much of money in my bank account now. What do I do with it? Because all of these things, praise God, it's good to have them. I wish someday to drive a nice car. Really, I wish someday to live in a beautiful house. That's really every person's dream. If it's God's will, it'll happen. But don't focus on that more than you should be focusing on your relationship with God. How is your relationship Hallelujah. with God? Our relationship is established with God through fasting and prayer. Avoid, uh, avoid spending or waiting for somebody else to pray for you. Amen. Each man has got to work out their salvation. The Bible says with fear and with trembling. Hallelujah. With fear and with trembling. Mm -hmm. And so tonight I bring a message. Lord, let there be prayer. Lord, change my heart, oh God. Amen. As we go into this time of worship and praise, as we seek the face of the Lord, ask God, work in me. Work in me, Master. What can I do? What more can I do for you, Lord Jesus? Maybe this lockdown has taught us, has taught us much more, has seen how much more we can do in and add in value in the kingdom of God. Amen. We've tried to build our own castles. We've learned it's not going to get us very far. Now we need to ex extend the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Can we all lock arms together? How do we do that? We do that through prayer. Amen. There's a song that we've been singing the other days. Amen. The other day. Amen. When we all get together, when we all get together, that's what happened on the book of, in the book of Acts chapter 2. When they all were together yeah. in one accord, in one mind. When we all begin to worship and praise God and seek the face of the Lord, brothers and sisters, it's no telling what God can do. We pray for your homes tonight in Jesus' name, that God will bring healing and restoration in your homes. We pray over your cupboards tonight, right. that God would bless your cupboards. There will be an abundant overflow. Your, your fridge will overflow. Yes. Amen. Your deep freezer will overflow. Your pockets will never run dry. All of these are promises that God told that he would bless his people. He said to the seed, to Abraham and to the seeds of Abraham, in blessing, I will bless thee. That's the same blessing that is now available for you and I. Amen. We just need to spend our time in worshiping and praising. I speak the way I speak, brothers and sisters, is because I learned, I know that God is more than able in my life. I tried men and they failed me. I was part of a group, amen. And they said, don't worry. We will sort, we, we together will never let you down. I can tell you when the storm hit, they were the first one to hit the fire escape, brothers and sisters. They taught me, that, that, that scenario taught me, amen. Even friends can fail me. Maybe it was, was not what they liked, amen. Praise God. But who else stood there? No one else but the Lord Jesus Christ. 
Therefore, the only best encouragement I can give to you today, Pastor McQueen Sam, the only best encouragement is keep your eyes on Jesus. He is the author of what? Author of your life. He's written your life down. He's the finisher. Finisher of what? He has an expected end for you. We have got to stay yeah. on course. He's the alpha. Amen. He's there. The, 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 the great I am. Hallelujah. He's the first. He's the omega, the magnificent, the, the great God. He's the, this large and in charge God. He knows what you're going okay. through right now. He knows your pain. He knows your challenges. If God can do it for Minister Lewandon and myself and our families, brothers and sisters, God can do it for you as well. I have this confidence. I want to appreciate you for taking time to listen to me today. I love the yes. Lord Jesus Christ with all of my heart. Amen. I will be that point of else But to worship the Lord. Hallelujah. In the stillness, I will Amen. glorify the Lord. God bless you, Brother Lewandon. Amen. 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 God bless you. For those of you that are listening, once again, thank you so much for joining with us. Thank you, Pastor McQueen, for blessing us and blessing our hearts for with that, that powerful word and anointed word. While we're at it, the book of James 5, 14, 15 says, Is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. Amen. Amen. The Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. And I want to just remind you today that that is not my word. That is not Pastor McQueen's word. That is the word of the Lord. Today, if you have listened to this broadcaster, I want to invite you to invite somebody. This is just the first day of the conference. There's going to be a follow-up tomorrow. There's going to be the day after that. If God says take it into next week, we're going to take it into next week. But I want to tell you that God is going to begin to fill that territory which you're living in right now. Pastor yeah. McQueen, you just prayed and you preach that powerful word. I know that there's been so many people that have been listening to us online tonight. We've got, I see our brother Jared that is joining us, Pastor Lucanus as well that has come online. Pastor Lucanus will be with us as well, preaching the word of God and teaching us during the course of this conference. So we want to thank you. God bless you, Pastor, also for joining us tonight. We've got Cameron Kyle. We've got Zachariah that is there. Pranisha Pele that is joined us. We've got our sister, strong psalmist and anointed worshiper, Sister Gail. You thank you so much for joining us. We've got uh, Pastor Luke with us tonight as well. Thank you so much, uh, Luke Van Vieren. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor, for joining us and being with us tonight. God bless you. We've got our sister Chantel that's there with us tonight. Uh, Pastor McQueen, we've got a brother Joe Dash that's online with us. Uh, okay. We've got our sister Nicole Amen. That's joining us. Amen. We've got our sister Nerissa Pele that's there. She commented. She said, truth, prayer changes us. Amen. Amen. I know you've been listening to the word. Amen. Thank you so much for that comment. We've got... <clears throat> excuse me, we've got uh, our brother Christopher John Governor for joining us. Thank you so much. God bless you. We've got our sister Clarissa Pele that's joining us. Our brother Adrian that's joining us. Uh, brother Desmond Chetty that has come online as well. A strong worshiper in the Lord. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Uh, we've got our sister Shanta Pele. We've got Ronaldo Hussein that's with us. We've got Sandra We've got uh, Desiree, we've got Olivia, we've got Amanda that's there with us. We've got uh, Verinia Kirsten that's there with us, Lorraine, uh, Sister Michelle. Wow, there's so much of people that are still coming online. God bless you. Thank you so much for coming online. Listen, there is power in worship. There is power in praise. There is power when the hearts of God, when people come in united tongue, when there's a united voice, when people come together with unity, God commands a blessing. Now, like I said in the book of James chapter 5, verse 14 and 15, is anyone among you tonight that is sick? 
Is there anybody that's among you tonight that you know, or if you're probably connected to, or you probably heard about, uh, whether they're infected with coronavirus or whatever uh, other sickness uh, or disease, whatever it is, Pastor McCrane prayed, he himself experienced the miracles of God in his life. Uh, the same miracle working God that I've experienced, uh, the same miracle working God that Pastor McQueen has experienced, uh, that God is available for you tonight. <clears throat> Amen. And so the word of God tells us uh, that we um, let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil. So what is stopping us tonight? Uh, I don't know what whether you've got oil or olive oil. I don't know what you've got there at home today. But if you have that, uh, even if you don't have the oil, I want you just to if you are not sick in body, then that's fine. That's okay. But somebody probably, you know, you heard about, oh, I want you to remember those that are sick in hospital at this time, not just in South Africa. We as believers need to stand together for the nations of the world because God is not just for our country. God is not just for China or for America or for Italy or for Russia or for any other country. God is the creator of all things. He knows all things. He is for everyone. He is not a respect of any person, any name, whether you're rich or poor, fat or tall. I took my, my hair out. So it doesn't matter whether I got my hair or whether I cut my hair. God still cares. God still worries yeah. about you. Hey Amen, Pastor McQueen. Tonight, you, you, I want you just to pray for those people. It doesn't matter how you look tonight. I want you to just put your hand on your body. Whatever you're feeling pain, whatever it is, if you know that if somebody, and even if you just want to just lift up your hand and remember those that are sick, for those of you that are watching us, that people, that person that is sicker, but I want you to take the oil and put it upon your head or your arm or your leg or whatever it is. I pray tonight that God is going to travel right where you are. God is going to locate you right where you are. There is healing coming your way. God is sending his angels to charge over you, to protect you, to heal you and deliver you tonight. Somebody shout amen right where you are. I can't hear you, but I want to believe that in my spirit that if you can shout amen, you can type amen, you can click a like, you can do something, become active in our life feed. For the next couple of nights, we're going to be praying for sick. We're going to be praying for people that need deliverance in their mind. We're going to be praying for people that have been lost and wayward. And the only church you've ever experienced is online. Then let me tell you something. You're going to experience church. There is a coming around and a turning around in your yeah. spirit. God is going to raise you up right where you are. Amen. Pastor, you believe that tonight? God is raising up sons. God is raising up daughters. God is raising up the true worshipers where they will worship in spirit and in truth amen amen so pastor won't you just pray with all those tonight pray that god will begin to do a miracle all right now i'm going to take some oil as well in my hand and i'm going to trust god for those people that are listening amen I'm going to trust God. I've got oil all over my hand right now. And I want you to trust God that you are going to connect through faith tonight. You are going to connect that the oil of God will begin to locate you. Pastor, won't you just pray tonight? Amen. Lord, I am the Lord. Your healer. I sent my word and I healed your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. While you're getting your oil in your host, you can sing, I am the Lord that healeth thee. I am the Lord, your healer. I sent my word and I healed your disease. I am the Lord. Your healer, oh Lord, you are the Lord that healeth me. You are the Lord, my healer. You sent your word and you healed my disease. You are the Lord, my healer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my God. Hallelujah. Before I want to pray, Minister Lewin, yeah. there's one thing that I want to say to our viewers. Praise God that will listen today and listen in the future. Amen. Those of you that are getting your oil, please go ahead. Uh, please go ahead and you can get your oil as well. And you can begin to pray and trust God. 
in, in Jesus' name. We're going to be praying. But let me just increase your faith tonight. Let me increase your faith in Jesus' name. Brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, <clears throat> just a few months ago, we've had family members and friends and church folks that have been healed of cancer, stage two, three, and four cancer in Jesus' name. Praise God. So I'm not coming here tonight together with Minister Lewandon as a, 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 as a maybe that it's, it, it's, it can happen. Amen. We're not sure. Let's give it a try. We are more than confident that God can heal you tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm standing on the Amen. promises of God that his stripes, Amen. the Bible says that by his stripes, we are healed. Amen. Hallelujah. And tonight we're going to stand on the authority of God's word. Praise the name of the Lord. And I want you to begin to pray. God, in Jesus' name, Lord, as we are trusting you at this time, dear God, as we believe you, Master, Lord, I pray in Jesus' name. God, people have oil all over their bodies right now in their hands, and they are going to apply that upon their bodies. I pray in Jesus' name, supernaturally, God, that healing is going to come into their lives right now, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, God, you have never failed. You have never failed, God. And tonight I pray, Jesus, that down in their homes, or they could be at a workplace tonight, Jesus, that you will reach out and touch them. I pray that oil will take effect in their body. It will go, it will permeate through that body, Jesus, and it will heal every brokenness. It will soothe every sorrow. It will mend every broken heart tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray that no evil attack, no evil spirit will overwhelm your children right now. I pray, Lord, that wherever they go, whatever they are trusting you for, Lord, tonight it shall be done. We break the back of the enemy in Jesus' name. We tremble upon Jesus. upon Lord. We stand on the head of the serpent in Jesus' name. We stand on the authority of your Lord, oh God. And your word says that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, God. So tonight we apply this anointing oil upon our bodies in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You be exalted and you be praised. I pray, Lord, to tonight's broadcast, testimonies will come of what you have done. Jesus, you have healed so many. People have been healed of coronavirus. It's, it's little spoken about Jesus, but much is spoken about the spread and the death. But tonight, we know that you are doing the healing in people's lives, oh God, supernaturally. So, Father, we ask you to come to shower to pour out your blessing, oh God. And as people apply this oil tonight over their bodies, over their children, over their families, over their husbands and wives, over their house doors and, and wherever, Father, I pray, God, that no evil attack of the enemy will supersede them, Jesus. Receive this now, Father, and never fail in the name of Jesus, Father. Finally, Lord, I'd like to pray for Minister Lewandon that has set such a beautiful broadcast. I pray, Lord, that you will undertake for your son. Thank you, Lord. We know that it's costly for him to put such a thing, to purchase licenses and to do all of these things. Father, I pray in Jesus' name, Lord, that you will bestow upon him, dear God. I pray there'll be an addition and a multiplication of his life. Lord, if he spent finances, Lord, bless him with an abundance of finance. If he spent time, Lord, I pray that you'll give him added time in Jesus' name. He, he's, he's, he spent resources, Lord, I pray pray that you will add to him, Lord, likely the resources in Jesus' name. Undertake for him more ministers that will come on this week, oh God. I pray that they'll be used mightily for your glory, that people's life will not be the same. So we give you glory and praise tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Is all I want is all you are. Will you meet me here again, Lord? And I'm not enough unless you come. Will you meet me here again, Lord? Cause all I want is all you are. Will you meet me here again? Lord? Hallelujah. We bless your name tonight, oh God. I want you just to join us tonight as we begin to come to a close.
I want you just to begin to worship with us tonight. Hallelujah. We worship you, God. Send your spirit upon our flesh tonight. The glory of God is beginning to set here. You cause change tonight, oh God. Make it in my city. And not for a minute was I forsaken. The Lord is in this place. The Lord is in this place. Come, Holy Spirit, and thy bones awaken. The Lord is in this place. Oh, the Lord is in this place tonight. Hallelujah. We glorify you tonight. We magnify you. Thank you so much for all of you that has joined us. I pray that you be blessed of God. That you would go into tomorrow. You would go into the rest of the night. Blessed of God. Exceedingly. Abundantly. Above anything you could ever ask, think, or imagine. May God bring it to you and your dwelling. I want to just invite you tomorrow night. I've got Apostle Sharon Venkitia that will be online with us. And I want to tell you that the woman of God has word. And she's coming with an anointing. She knows how to pray. So I want to tell you something. Just like how Pastor McQueen prayed tonight and preached tonight. And he spoke a word that said that prayer changes things. If you know how to pray. And if you know the God that you're praying to. If you understand how he works, then let me tell you, nothing, absolutely nothing is impossible with God. If God be for you, come on somebody, who can be against you? Wow. So I want to remind you tonight that God loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus cares for you. There is nothing and no one that can come against the love of God. There is no sickness in hell that can take authority over God's love, over God's healing power. I cannot heal you. No pastor can heal you. Nobody. But the power that worketh in us, come on. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Let me tell you that there is a greater power that is invested inside of us. Now, I want to remind you that you have the authority of God inside of you. Join us for the rest of the week. Load data if you have to. If you don't have data, I want to tell you there is no greater time than now than you, that you need to go. And this is an essential need. You need data. Amen, Pastor. They can, people can buy data online. You can buy data through your bank if you're banking with F&B, whatever. You can buy data if, you, if you're online. It's made available for you. There are possibilities. If you, whatever network you're on, you can just SMS and they will send you data. Uh, whatever it is. Come on. That, this is an essential need. The greatest thing of all, the word of God is more essential now than any other time. This is an essential need. Your Amen. spirit needs to be lifted up. Uh, let me tell you that during the course of the week as well, we've got Pastor Lucanus Isaac. He's carrying a great anointing for work. Amen. and word a disciplined anointed grace carrier of the word of god now nothing i can tell you what pastor McQueen has shared tonight that the man of god will come and he would speak as well we've also got pastor nishe and governor as well that will come online apostle robin john but tomorrow night we've got apostle sharon venkitia right she's on tbn she's on a uh, gospel radio station she she travels a lot she's a, 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 a woman of god that is disciplined and she's a woman of god that understands that when she speaks the word of god she prays with authority now if you want to get healing we pray tonight that you get healed right go on to this broadcast play it i'm going to share the link with people you're going to watch it but be in this atmosphere that's what I'm saying. It doesn't mean that the prayer we pray tonight is not going to work. It will work. But are you determined for your miracle? That's my question tonight. Are you determined to receive this power that I speak about? Are you determined to understand that when you know how to praise, when you know the power that working inside of you, when you know how to worship, when you understand the power of Jesus Christ, yeah. let me tell you, you will not turn away from this God that I speak about. Yeah. You will not turn away from this anointing. You will not turn away from this. You may ask why we are so passionate. When you encounter Jesus, when you encounter Jesus in your worship, when you encounter worship, 
you will not turn away. Now, I want to invite you that you need to join us. Hallelujah. Amen. Pastor McBain, people need to join us. Amen. That's right. That's Amen. Right. So tonight, I think we just got us. As well. So uh, uh, you can follow the live broadcast on my feed, on my page, also in the different groups that we have. Uh, but I'd, I'd encourage every person, if you if you join in, please share the broadcast. Please share the broadcast. Be kind and just share the broadcast so that others can, like you, can be blessed as well. Praise God. And in fact, if it is a blessing in your life, then be a blessing to somebody else as well. Praise God. Amen. We just got uh, Minister Colin, Pastor Colin Pillay that has joined us. Uh, uh, greeting, sir. God bless you. We've got uh, Pastor Adrian Kristen Sami as well that is joining us. We've got Leanne Munsami. We've got Kristen Pillay, uh, Clorraine Natalie. We've got Darren Peter. We've got Renee Naidu. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. We've got Judah Governor. We've got Jodash Naidu. I've got Isaac Chetty as well, an anointed man of God, also a young man, passionate to serve God, amen. I've got Joy Pele, loves worship, amen. God bless you. Uh, thank you so much. So once again, I want you to share this broadcast. Share this link. Thank you so much, Pastor McQueen. Sam, you are looking great. You are passionate for God. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Thank you so much for the love that you have for God. And I pray that this fire that is burning inside of you will just burn brighter, will Amen. grow, and will reach the nations of the world. We stand firm knowing that no matter what cometh our way, if God is for us, who can be against us? So God bless you and Harmony Center and the ministry and everything that you do. I love you. People that are watching love you. We're praying all the time. We understand that you are walking with authority. Amen. God thank bless you. you. So God bless much. all listeners. I thank appreciate you so much. You, Mr. Nguyen, and thank you so much for having me as well on air. Praise God. Uh, in, in 30 minutes time or 25 minutes time, we'll be on live worship again uh, for another hour and a half. So tonight, oh, we are worshiping the Lord, man. Amen. 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 So God bless you, everybody. Thank you so much. And may God be with you. Amen.